Hey guys, hey, oh you guys are Duran. Is you guys Duran because today is, I have no idea. Whatever day it is, I'm all right. I'm Duran, I'm Duran. <coughs> um, that's still not going away. I don't know what else to do. Um, I took the medicine they gave me. Um, I've taken some cough syrup, which gave me horrific diarrhea. TMI, you're welcome. Um, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Like, I've just been, like, feeling my due to cock a pee, pee since I got home. Just, well, not even since I got home, like, since I, like, was in Korea. Um, I ain't felt right. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm supposed to. This, this fucking, this, this revision's fucking with my head so bad. Like, so so bad. I want to be like, hell yeah, I look amazing. Like, I, I look I look awesome as hell. And then, like, I look at myself and I'm like, who's that bitch? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Um, I notice a lot of the laugh lines are starting to come out. Like, I told you guys they would, like, like, as the, the skin. Don't. Don't tell me that wasn't funny. Um, as the as the skin and the fat starts to kind of recede, like you'll get more of the, as you see with typical weight loss surgery patients who've lost a lot of weight. I will be a hundred percent honest with you. I'm actually frightened. Um, do I enjoy the fact that I've lost a lot of weight? Yeah. Okay, I have fought for this for so fucking long, but the amount that I'm losing and how fast I'm losing is what scares me. Like, you want me to be 100% like honest, you want me to always tell you guys like exactly like it is, the good, the bad, the ugly, and the fucking crazy. And this revision is absolutely just <coughs> messing with everything with me. Um... It's definitely a gigantic mental mind bug, like all of it. You you could probably still see I have some of the original um, acrylic on these ones where I don't on the other hand because legitimately when I ripped off the acrylic from my fingernails from the other hand, it tore my nails to shreds. Um, why did you do it yourself? Not because I'm cheap. I don't know. Cause cause I'm cheap. And I can do it myself, and eventually I'll file these down and it'll come off. And then I was just tired of doing it, like spending that kind of money. After I spent $90, I was like, done, done. Because no matter what, it's usually 35 bucks. And that's that doesn't even count if I, like, God help me if I was to try to get a design on the fucking things. But just straight gel polish and a fill is always $30 plus five bucks. Um, for tip and you don't really have to tip because believe it or not and you know I'm gonna go off on tangents because tangent queen um, has, Hashtag squirrel uh, Believe it or not um, a lot of these places make these poor ladies work six days a week and They get half and half sometimes not even but they'll work like 12 hours like 15 hours 16 hours a day a day a day for six days a week and they have children, and they have husbands, and they have da, 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 they have a life, but they work in those places, and they get half and half. So if you, let's say thirty five dollars, like they even have to split the tip sometimes, like with the they're kind of like to work there. That's half and half. So if you get that, that's why a lot of like a lot of places that here that I know, because I've been getting my nails and stuff done. what the hell that was but I'll turn that off um that was <laughs> I was on the thing at, uh, with my honey bunny and they left so I was just sitting there with the empty room and I don't know what the hell that noise was but I'm about to listen to it anyway so oh yeah so you, with with here like if you get your fingers done from somebody then they want to switch you to somebody else to do your pedicure because a lot of times I'll do both 
um, at the same time, like, I, I get my feet done, like, every two or three months, because it's a species, and, you know, I don't, like, I'll still get pedicures, because I can't do my own feet, it's not that I can't reach them, it's just that I literally suck at trying to cut my own toenails, I don't know why the hell I'm talking about this, like, why, why, Nirvana, why, doesn't matter, anyhow, anywho, anyway, so, they always try to switch you to somebody else, so those people who are better at doing feet, um, get money, too, so there's a lot, there are some people that, that do just mani pedis. There's just some people that just do pedis. There's just some people who do things. So yes. Yes. Um, anyway, so back to my original thought, which I don't remember what it was. So I'm going to have another thought and hopefully remember what the fuck I was talking about. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, revision, uh, this revision has been something else and I'm having a rough time with it. I'm having a rough time seeing myself in clothes. I'm having a rough time, like, like wearing this shit less than a year ago and now just swimming. I'm having a rough time. This hasn't happened for me. Now you might think that going from over 500 pounds to 300, uh, would be the biggest mental mind, you know, of them all. And you might hear my stomach doing its thing because I had some water and I had a P3. Um, and it's making all kinds of noises at me. So, it's just, it's rough on me right now. Because even though I was over 500 pounds and I got down to 300 pounds, my body changed, but it didn't change like this shit's changing. Like, I feel my breast bone and no stomach. Do you understand? Like, when I lay down, now I feel mostly just, like, my skeleton underneath hanging skin. I'm not... Shut up down there. I don't know... I don't... I don't... I don't know how a lot of you feel. And I'm trying not to do that because I'm trying not... I'm trying real hard not to do that. Because this is what I asked for. So I feel shitty to be like, well, this scares me and I'm not sure how I feel about it. And I feel kind of scared and I'm not, I'm not dealing with it very well. Because I'm not used to being smaller. I'm not used to people looking at me and being like, oh, you look really small. Oh, you're doing really well. Oh, my God. Wow. Uh, I'm not used to that. And I'm only five months out on the 20th. Five months. Let's see. January, February, March, April, May. So yeah, on the 20th, I will be five months out. I'm not even five months out. So do you see where this scares the shit out of me? If I have dropped, I'm not telling you my weight right now. Um, because Wednesday I go to see the actual doctor doctor. And I will get officially weighed. Because I want to be officially weighed. I want, I want to see like what their scale says. Because mine here has always been kind of iffy. Um, there's a lot coming into that. I don't know. Um, but there's a lot of like hanging skin on my calves. Like there's, there's shit going on with my body that I'm not used to because I've always been really proportionate. Like my body loses weight everywhere and it gains weight everywhere so when I, I popped up with those 60 pounds those 60 pounds distributed them, them themselves all over my meats so now that I'm losing like I'm losing everywhere like so it's just like all of my shit is just starting to just deflate and I'm like what have I done but doesn't that sound ridiculous like does that sound like stupid it's not that I think it's ugly. It's not that I think that my body looks bad. It's not that my, my baby isn't attracted to me. Because trust me, I got plenty of vitamin D while I was in Korea, girl. Please. But it, it has nothing to do with that. It is legitimately that I'm not even five months out and I look like this now. It scares me that I'm not going to be able to stop losing. And stay in maintenance. That's what scares me. What a ridiculous thing for me to say. I never wanted to be 200 pounds. I never wanted to be. I know damn well I'm not at 200 pounds right now. That's not what I'm saying. 
But like I never wanted to be 200 pounds or below without skin surgery. And even then I would be like, I look like a skeleton. I'm fucking tall, guys. Like there's a lot of times where people are like, oh my God, you look smaller than I do. Oh my God, you 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 look you 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 look amazing and and so much smaller than than what I look like. And I'm like, I'm not trying to compete with you. Like I'm not even paying attention to what you look like right now. I'm freaking out about how the hell I look like. Like I'm freaking out that like I'm gonna die. <laughs> just just like I'm just gonna start wasting away and I'm just left with like bones and some some fucking organ meats. Like, that's it. Like, I just, it's scary. It's scary to me. It's scary to look at my body and see all of these bruises. I'm not used to that shit. I went from 10% to 55%. So, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. I've never had this before. I've never had, I've never had, like, um, this kind of weight loss so fast. Just, I could literally eat an entire fucking pizza. The entire thing. I can legit eat if I wanted to. No, it would take me a damn while, but that's not the point. I could eat an entire pizza and not gain a damn ounce. How do you know that, Nirvana? Girl. What are the nostrils? I mean, I, it's just, I'm not perfect. I'm never going to be perfect. This is not a channel for perfect people. This is not perfect Nirvana experiences. This is experiencing Nirvana as I am, who I am, how I am, the way that I work. And I still have a food addiction. And I'm still terrified that I have fucked up. <laughs> like, I've, I've, I'm scared, guys. Like, I'm scared that I have... Be careful what you ask for. Like, that's kind of how I feel right now. Like, and maybe it's just because I am, I haven't seen my surgeon in a while. Maybe because I was in Korea. Maybe because I'm just, I'm not used to being smaller. Maybe my, my shit will plateau and I'll be able to, to have maintenance. But right now, rapid fucking weight loss is freaking my ass out. Like, just, it's freaking my ass out. And I, I never ate an entire pizza. I'm just. But I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, while I was in Korea, we had pizza and, like, I've never had any problems, like, except for, like, the worst gas, possibly. Um, but, yeah, I'm scared and I'm nervous and I'm wondering what's going on in my, in, in, what the fuck's going on uh, with my meats and <laughs> what am I going to do? If I can't stop losing, does that mean that I have to get a revision again and have him put my fucking intestines back? Do you see where my mind goes? My mind instantly is just like, okay, you oh, uh, oh, God, Jesus, oh, you're gonna die. You're gonna, oh, yeah, vitamins. <laughs> now, is that realistic? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I feel really nervous. Um, I feel scared. I'm, I'm still taking the Berry Life filthy, most disgusting powder on the planet. Dis disgusting. D no, did I mention disgusting? No, hold on. Wait. Maybe, maybe I have not quite explained to you. I would probably rather lick my own feet. I would probably rather lick my own shoe after I've walked around than to have to take this through. To, uh, 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 uh. It's rough. It's rough. And I've had all the flat. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> Can you tell? I don't like it. So um, I'm thinking about switching. Um, you know, fuck, guys, my brain is everywhere right now. Uh, it's everywhere. I'm kind of put you guys down here but I don't think that's gonna work so I'm everywhere and I don't know what I'm doing and I don't have control of my body right now and that is never a good thing for me
I don't have to try right now. I'm just losing. I don't have to try. Like, I don't have to try. And, like, I watch people. Not really watch, but, like, I, I see people on Instagram. And, of course, you're not supposed to... Okay. Um, you're not supposed to compare your journey with other people. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're not talking about skin. We're not talking about weight. We're talking about food. Now, I see people post what they eat in a day, and it's barely damn anything. Like, I, it's like sniffing a peanut and, like, you know, like, snaky licking, you know, a piece of steak. But, you, like, I'm like, the hell, how do you even survive on that? The amount of food and water that I can, I can put in this gullet, the amount of food and water my body will hold is, like, three times what these VSGers can, can put down. And some, some gastric bypass people can even throw down. Like, it's, it's like, I know the reason he didn't touch my pouch is, number one, it already had problems. Number two, there's technically nothing wrong with it except for the fact that the stoma, the little opening sphincter part at the bottom, doesn't close correctly. Um, but other than that, like, if it ain't broke, don't, don't fuck with it. Um... In, in his most expert opinion, because he is my surgeon, um, in order to get in enough water and protein for somebody with this kind of surgery, it was important that um, I had enough room. Because this shit is uh, something else. It's, it's something else. It is something else. So, uh, case in point. We picked up steaks, um, my mother-in-law and I, because I went and, and she's uh, babysitting some other dogs right now. Um, my mother-in-law and I had dinner together and we picked up like ribeye steaks, just big fatty steaks. I told you I can have as much fat as I want. Don't, 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 I don't need any of that. Um, my surgery and your surgery. Okay. So, the, <laughs> like we, <coughs> <coughs> so we bought these steaks and they're probably about six six ounces after you cook them about six ounces girl I everything but like two ounces of that steak was gone plus the like four or five Brussels sprouts and the two tablespoons of, of mashed potatoes it took me probably 45 minutes of me just kind of you know hunting and, and the picking and the eating but I could eat it like I, I did I enjoyed it every damn every damn morsel of that shit I went to town on I can eat dense protein i can eat regular protein i can eat slider slider foods my ass like i can eat whatever the hell i want to and now i don't even dump that's some scary shit right there at least with the just regular gastric bypass anything like i told you guys like shut up stomach anything like a uh, rich um ice cream stuff with real cream in it because i don't have a gallbladder um stuff with uh, a lot of fat and stuff like that back when I had just the gastric bypass alone that I would dump I would get the sweats and the palpitations and just feel so fucking sick doesn't mean I didn't do it anyway not a point man you guys can see up my damn nostrils so often now they're just there's pronounced massive nostrils god why can't those <laughs> now that my face is slowly starting to like get smaller like I just notice shit like I'm like some Big ass nostrils. Anyway, anyhow, anywho, but now I don't dump. I haven't dumped off of anything. Nothing. Nothing. I, I haven't. Mm -mm. Nothing. Nothing at all. And don't think I haven't tried shit. Don't think I haven't. Now, now I have other issues with intestines. So that's where my shit gets real. Because the minute I put in those potatoes, oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, Brussels sprouts, get out, get it, open all the windows, put fans in them, uh, get the Febreze out, put the Febreze up my butt, like, it is, it is good, girl, it is, uh-oh, it's, oh, I don't, <laughs> bread of any kind, I get bloated, and just, it's, the, the struggle is real, because the food addiction does not leave you, and the, the, the food addiction doesn't go anywhere, is what I'm trying to say. So, I still have to work on plenty of this. And it just, there's a lot of this that needs to be worked on. 
I mean, I don't know what else to say besides this is this is my life right now. And you guys are watching me because you want to know what the hell my life is like. And at the moment, uh, I'm a little worried about it. Yeah. I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, maybe, maybe like, a little bit that bit, like, like that much. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous about my shits at the moment. But I just need to see my doctors and be, see there's bone, guys. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, yeah, it's bone. I don't like it. I, it's my protective layer. I have been abused, I have been molested, I have been, uh, I have terrible PTSD, there, there have been things in my life which were terrible things that happened to me, and the smaller I get, the smaller I feel, the smaller I feel, the more uncomfortable I feel, the more uncomfortable I feel, the more I start losing it, just losing it, because I am... This is why I don't edit my videos a lot because a lot of times I will have an epiphany or I will have something that that kind of pops up that I wouldn't have thought about before. But I'm losing what made me ugly and what made me unnoticeable. I went from like completely noticeable and in most people's eyes disgusting to passable, kind of all right, but still fat, to I look fairly decently normal, except if you could see my extra skin, but under normal circumstances and clothing, you'd be like, I look like regular ass woman type of thing, like if there is any of that. I just, I just look like a damn person. How can I put it like, I can't put it any way other than that. I just look like a damn person. I don't know if I told you guys that, but... Um, one of the last couple nights that I, I was in Korea, somebody had stopped me in the ready line. The ready line is where you kind of stand and wait for the taxis. I had gone out by myself to get something and, um, baby was still in the room and these people are, are drunk as shit. But that's not the point. But they asked me if I worked in medical and to have, to have somebody think that I was I was small enough to be in the military. It shook me. It, I was, my eyes, this, like, I was like, to think somebody thought that I was fit enough and normal enough, my normal, enough to be in the military because you have to be a certain size. You have to look a certain way. You have to be a certain kind of person to be in the military and for to be just kind of looked at like oh haven't i seen you in medical don't you work in don't you work in the hospital da, da, da. that made me feel really good and also like really did you say that to me like is am i am i dreaming is this is this is this real life is this real life so sometimes guys like my brain is everywhere and this is not my natural hair color like this is actually a little lighter than my natural hair color I don't even know what the fuck my natural hair color is anymore I'm sure it's some kind of fucking brown underneath all this the happy horse shit um but somebody was asking me today if that's my natural hair color I'm like probably maybe I don't know I color my hair a lot so I just haven't in a while so yeah Hi, if you're new, um, you could stay or, or with this video, I'm not sure if you want to, but <laughs> I'm not having it, not, not doing a good job of being all right today. Um, I've been alone, um, uh, since I got home pretty much, uh, with at least not here and of course missing my baby and, uh, that gives you a lot of time to think. And this is a long video, so, you know, you, most of you won't even get to this part, but that's fine. Um, I just hope that, you know, I made the right decision, which I'm, I'm, I'm sure that I did. I'm just scared about all the quick changes. I expected this to be a lot slower. I expect expectations I talked about that when you expect something fuck get some reality Nirvana 
So I love you beautiful, gorgeous, amazing faces. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day wherever the hell you are in the world. And I will probably talk to you, I hope, tomorrow. Mm -hmm.